Okay, everybody raise your hand like this. Look, you just relax. Okay, everybody take your left hand, tap the center of your chest. Okay, some of you use the other left hand, right? that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> go like this. Laying, right? Okay, you just stand there, okay, get out of the way. All right, look at her, her name's Lainey. Say Lainey. Hi, Lainey. We shower you with love. We shower you with love. Now, focus on your heart and you shower her with lots of pink and lots of beautiful golden energy. Come on, give her more. A lot more. You like it, huh? Okay, give her some more. Okay, cross your arms, please. What do you guys feel? How's the flow? Keep giving, uncross. Okay, you can put your hand down. You're projecting loving energy, right? Even love can be rejected because you have free will. So one level of truth, love is an emotion. For ordinary people, it's an emotion. Later on, as you understand more and more about what you do not see, you realize love is actually a form of energy. So is knowledge, so is health, so is everything else. So if you want to really stuff you with information tonight, which we plan to always do, do your best not to cross your arms for your sake. I already know the information, so it's you guys who need to learn it. How are we done? Is that straight enough? See, if we don't tell people, a lot of times they don't realize, okay, don't go yet. Everybody raise your hand like, you know what? Most of you are new, let me answer that. Stretch it out. Do you understand my Chinese English? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Okay, put your hand like this. See if you can feel anything in between your palms. Just take your time. Anybody feel something in between their palms? Okay, let's speed up the process. Let's open your palms like this. Take one. In order to speed up the process, we'll give you a little extra boost if you like. Okay, just open your palms. You don't have to do anything. That's a nice part. You ready? Right. You just relax. Anybody feel something in their palm? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get it pressed too easily. That's just warm up. <laughs> no, this is just to increase the flow of energy in the palm. Top points, top points, top points. Top points. Like what is red? After it. So beautiful. How do you hands feel? Now. Shake it. Try it again. Is there a change in the feeling? Yeah. Yeah. So how much, how less you feel energy is dependent on many factors. One of the factors is how activated your hand centers are. The other factor is how activated your heart is. The other factor is your emotional and mental state. I can't help you with that. <laughs> at least we can stimulate your hand centers. Now shake it off. Okay, raise your hand like this. Look at her. Say, Lainey. Lainey. I like to feel your energy level. I like to feel your energy level. Okay. Do it now, you're here. Okay, ready? Okay, just do your rest, just feel. Just take your time. The secret in feeling is you look at her, form the intention, and wait for the feeling to come to your hands. How many can sort of feel something in their palm? Okay, keep your hand there. Could you cross your arms, please? What happened to the feeling in your hand? Stop. Did it increase or did it kind of disappear? Disappear. Okay, shake your hands. Okay, keep your hand up like this. You ready? Keep your hand there. Open. Close. How many of you could feel when she uncrossed, it felt like a gentle something hit your hand? Okay, put your hand down. But it's something like this. You see, this technique is for psychic protection. In, in this book, uh, written by my teacher, Psychic Self Defense, he, go, he goes through detail. So we'll just touch on what is, uh, we can demonstrate in front. You have your energy field, right? When you cross your arms, the, this is called closing the aura. The energy field becomes very, very small and becomes very, very tight. So it acts like an energetic armor. So when somebody, somebody's trying to share something with you, whether it be good or bad, when you cross your arms, instead of the energy flowing in, it blocks it. How many of you were able to feel that earlier? Okay, next. The other thing is, I don't know if you guys can see, stand over here. 
uh, okay, we'll do our best. Everybody touch the center of your chest. This is your heart chakra, your heart center. Go down to the soft spot in between. Okay, that's your solar plexus. When you get stressed out, that's where you feel it. When somebody unloads and dumps on you emotionally, that's where you feel it, that's why you feel nauseated, right? Okay, would you cross your arms? Is that how you cross your arms? That's a little high, don't you think? Okay, you guys cross your arms. What are you covering? Oh, oh, exactly. And she was going like this. <laughs> so you were taught subconsciously or whatever how to protect your soul plexus. You see, nobody do not, people do not really attack your heart. You know why? The heart chakra, but you can uncross them. Okay, your heart chakra is the center for love. There even this law of attraction thing they're so crazy about in the news. Law of attraction. That's ancient. You see, light energies attract. So when somebody projects negative thoughts at you, it does not go to the heart. Because the heart chakra is full of love. So what it does, it goes to your solar plexus, which is below. Or it goes to your throat. If you're even very critical of people, some of the negative energy is here. Your heart chakra stays clean. 